Hello there. Welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now today I'm going to share with you the details of my recent journey to one of the factories which I visit which helped me to understand men's style a little better. Earlier this week I went to the Corgi Sock Factory. I'm going to tell you about that but first of all I'll tell you why I went there because I think socks are often overlooked when it comes to being the items of style that they deserve to be treated as. Socks are often seen as a minor accessory. By many men, they're something which we think we can go cheap on. And if we were to do so, I think we would make a gross error of judgment because socks play an important part in the way that you dress and your style. And, you know, for two obvious reasons. Firstly, your comfort. You know, your socks regulate the temperature of your feet. They wick away perspiration. In, in short, they make your life a little bit more comfortable. And when you wear your, your, your socks and your footwear for, what, half of your day at least, it's important to get the best possible items that you can because your comfort is at stake. And secondly, Style itself is at stake here. Because when you look at the way that you dress, think about the amount of effort you make from the waist up. All of these things which reflect your personality, your pocket square, your tie, maybe lapel badges, the, the garments that you wear, all of the attention is lavished on the upper part of your body. Below the waist, it is true, your shoes are fundamentally important. They're the building blocks for your outfit but there's not much opportunity for colour and pattern there. Your socks are the only thing below the waist which has the opportunity to demonstrate a little bit of your personality, a little bit of your charisma because you have the opportunity for colour, for pattern, for materials which are different and interesting on the eye, texture. So do not make the error of judgement of thinking of socks as merely a poor relation to the other items that you wear. When it comes to men's socks, there can be few brands which can even hold a candle to the heritage and history of Corgi socks. Now this company has been making socks since 1892 in Ammonford in Wales, my home country, and they are still in family ownership. Uh, all these years later, still in the same factory, still manufacturing the highest quality socks that money can buy. Now, when they started, uh, way back in 1892, the man who began the company, the founder, was a gentleman called Rhys Jones. And he bought some second-hand uh, woolen sock knitting machines and started creating socks for the local miners and other people in the local community in Ammonford. And over time, they've gone on from humble beginnings to where they are today, their socks being considered the very best in the world and worn by some of the most influential people on the planet. But more of that uh, later. Now, when it comes to recognising quality, there can be few more accolades more prestigious than the bestowal of the royal warrant on a company for the services or the goods that they provide. And when it comes to Corgi, they achieved their royal warrant from His Majesty the King way back in 1989. Now, of course, way back then he was the Prince of Wales, but um, the King wears Corgi socks. Isn't that a wonderful thing? On my visit to the factory store, I met with the owner, Chris Jones, and he actually let a little secret out to me. He said that recently, just a few days before, he'd actually, actually sent a parcel of socks to the king because he wears these literally every day. So quite a feather in the cap for corgi socks. But it's not just the king who wears these wonderful hose. In fact, um, I also discovered that they are worn by the king, yes, that's true, other members of the royal family as well, but also uh, Elton John, Sir Elton John. Um, who else? Uh, Daniel Craig, James Bond himself, wears corgi socks with people like Colin Firth, Victoria Beckham, and even Nobel Prize winner uh, Archbishop Desmond Tutu sadly deceased now, but he was a wearer of corgi socks in his lifetime. So it's obviously a very high quality item which is valued and recognized by those who also recognize the very best of things. Now like many British manufacturers of heritage goods the market for these products is 
global. And Corgi export their socks to more than 30 countries around the world, with the United States of America, Japan and China being their largest markets overseas. So there's a lot of people out there who enjoy good quality uh, socks, which is great to see. Um, all Corgi products are made in-house in their factory in Ammonford in, in Wales, uh, and they're made using the finest components that can be sourced from around the world, designed by local designers and made by local craftspeople. So we are talking artisan products at the very top of their game, which is such a pleasure when you're buying things you can buy with confidence, knowing that you're absolutely getting the best. Now, earlier this week, I embarked on a 200 mile round trip to go to the Corgi factory shop in South Wales. I'd corresponded with the managing director, Chris, beforehand, and I asked if it would be possible to have a look around the factory, as well as, you know, enjoying all of the fruits of the factory shop. And I have to say, when I got there, it's a rather an imposing factory. It's a place of work. But when you go to the back, you see the, the factory shop sign. You walk into this small little annex to the main factory, and you're met with a plethora of socks of all different shapes and sizes, colors and patterns, as well as much of the other knitwear, which is sold uh, by Corgi and produced by Corgi all in that factory, uh, as I say, by local craftspeople. And there was a, a huge range from the collection, not just socks, but um, very high quality jumpers, scarves, hats, gloves, you name it. If it's knitwear, it was there. Uh, and I have to say the prices were very, very palatable. At least half of the retail price if you were looking uh, to buy through retail. So if you've got the ability to go to the factory shop, it's well worth your effort. I met Chris, who was an absolutely delightful gentleman, who took me on a tour of the factory. And I can only tell you, it was an absolute joy to see everything from the manufacturing process from the beginning to the end. Right from uh, looking at the, the yarns, where they're being stored, how they're selected, how they're combined to make the various different types of socks. Then we went on to the work floor itself. We saw some of the machinery in, in, in action. Uh, some of the machines a hundred years of age being used to make socks as they were you know a century ago of course coupled with that the latest state-of-the-art machines which are able to turn quite intricate designs into the patterns on socks uh, and whilst I was there I had a bit of a sneak preview of some of the uh, products which Corgi are making to celebrate uh, the King's coronation later in the year and some of the other products which are sold uh, by Buckingham Palace in their gift shop uh, with, in relation to the, uh, the Queen's Jubilee and other events from the past to do with the royal family. So it was amazing to see these products uh, and walk around and talk to the people who are actually making these socks and the other items as we were going around. I saw people you know finishing the socks by hand. There's a, quite a lot of human effort put into the socks. In one instance I saw uh, or Chris introduced me to a lady who was making these socks which were for Highland uh, military regiments. You know these socks which are worn with kilts, um, they have patterning on them and they're very very detailed. So much so that they're hand loomed and the lady making those socks on the day which I uh, visited because of the intricate detail she can only make three pairs of these socks in a working day. So you can see how intricate and how difficult they have to be, uh, you know, how, how they are to be made. These are very, very fine items of the highest level of quality. Uh, on my journey around, I saw the socks being washed, being pressed, being prepared for sending out to various uh, retail outlets and other areas. They're also sold online through Corgi's own website. So it was a fascinating insight into the world of men's socks, uh, lady socks as well, not just men's, and the other items which were made. So all in all, my trip was an absolute joy. It was a pleasure to meet Chris and his team there in Corgi Socks, to see the manufacturing process, you know, to see these socks being made. Uh, I even purchased a few from the gift shop and I very much look forward to wearing these in the next couple of days. I've got a thick pair here for the cooler days and a lovely stylish pattern, which will be a welcome addition to my clothing because generally speaking you know us men as I say we just wear black socks or we wear socks which are the same color as our trousers or our shoes they're innocuous they're not noticed or seen 
But my days of wearing socks, which are not exciting, are long past. Now I've discovered Corgi, uh, I'm definitely going to be uh, taking more of an interest in my socks and they're going to play a much bigger part in my outfit selection on a daily basis. Now, as I say, you know, my experience was great going to the factory shop. If you live near a factory shop, wherever you are in the world, find out, you know, if what their opening times are, what's manufactured in your locality, and it could be a wonderful experience and a great opportunity to save a pile of money. Because, you know, even at full price, socks are obviously quite affordable. I think uh, the typical pair of men's cotton blend socks like this, um, they're going to be, you know, well under £20. But in the factory shop, um, these were £5 a pair. A lot of saving there, and they place something into that most people may consider to be a luxury item into an everyday price bracket. So well worth finding out where you can make a few savings uh, and enjoy the luxury items in your life. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this visit all about my journey to the Corgi Sock Factory down there in Wales. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, click the subscribe button. If you'd like to contribute to the channel, leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you'd like to help support us, you can either buy me a coffee or even become a patron because I've got a patron page in which I give additional video content to my valued patrons whose names you will see at the end of the video. So until the next time, wear your socks with pride and passion and I will see you again very soon.